Okay, Lauterbach has just released a new version of Trace32 free debugger software for the Portenta. If you go to that link and go way down to the bottom, you see the GDB uh, Arduino zip, and notice it's the 13th of January 2021, and today is the 14th. So uh, let's download that and put it in some folder, uh, not that folder. Uh, there's the download, we unzip it. If we go into that one, there's your Trace32 Arduino. And here we've got some bin files and some stuff. Now, the only thing of importance here is this license T32 file. It's not a .txt file, it's a T32 file. And if you go to their licensing spot, I'll have that on my GitHub. My GitHub about all this is there. I'll show it to you in a minute. But if we go have a look at a fake license, it basically is one long line. This is two licenses, so there are two of them. One long line of something that eventually has your email. Okay, so this is one license thing you would get back from uh, Lauterbach if you have a Portenta. This is the site that you request the license and they email you back um, license for that Portenta. You have to find out the serial number and that's not hard to do. If we load up um, Arduino, if you go to Xeno, if you go to Tools, Get Board Information will give you that ID number. Okay, so Trace32 Lauterbach. Um, will allow you to debug your Arduino Portenta, the fancy um, dual core Arduino. So uh, let's just look at my um, page that the links up here. If you go way down to the bottom, uh, well, maybe not the bottom, but number 15 is the one we're talking about. Trace Theater is presently testing. There's the license. There's the link. That link's actually kind of hard to find. Uh, I've done two videos already. This is the third video, and they've made it super easy to work with. Uh, those first videos, it was a little tricky, but we've been emailing, and they've fixed it up. Uh, then I'm going to do one with assembly language. So let's get going. Um, when you have installed your proper license, then we would go to bin. I'm on Windows, so we would open it up on Windows. And the key here is this Portenta H7 projects. Well, notice the first, and yeah, go through these demos, and I've done that on my other videos. Um, what I want to do is find my library, and I've called it Trace32, and there is the folder that's going to have my software. Now, let's just see, okay, if I go into the classic IDE, um, what we're doing is we're working with this one at the moment. It is the code copied from my site. Uh, quite simple. It uh, does a loop, lights the, th well, let's run it. Now, I could compile it, and actually I will compile it from here first off. So we make sure we're on Portenta Core. We make sure, ooh, that's interesting. Why hasn't it read my Portenta's there? We're, oh, it's flashing. I have to, I want it pulsing. That is not pulsing. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Let's try my other one. Um, I mess with these things and break stuff all the time. So see, that's pulsing. Now that it's pulsing, you got to click out of there, get back in, and there we go. So I'm going to fire this onto it. Typically, the normal way you would do things, the only difference is that I have these one, two, three, four lines. I've included thread debug. I have this, this, and this, which is all 
uh, in the portentous section, thread debug. That basically shows it. I've just expanded it a little bit with some flashing LED and serial print. So first of all, now their example uses something called no debug, uh, break in setup. I prefer no break in setup and I'll show you why. Uh, once my, mine's been uploaded, I can go to the right COM port. By the way, with this thread debug, you're going to have two. It's typically the higher one. And I can go read the serial monitor. Yeah, hi, and it's flashing each time it says hi and bye. And it's going really quickly because I don't want to mess things up, uh, slow things down when I'm in Trace32. Okay, so Trace32, what did we do? We selected the port. We come here, we double click there. That's a super important to give you the dates. And we could flash it, but it's already flashed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click there. It says reset. So I'm going to reset and go. Now, first of all, looks thoroughly confusing. Second, I want to go to the loop. So go to the main Arduino loop command, and there it is. And third, I want to get rid of all this assembly language, so I click on mode. Yay. There we are. There's the setup. There's the main, my main loop. And I would probably put a set debug point right there. And what that means I can do is I can now go and it does one loop. Okay, see, hi, bye. I can hit go again and do I have a debug point set up? Okay, for some reason it's taking twice, but uh, the basic concept. Let me just see my debug. I've got false. What this is is a little um, if my debug debug break. Uh, I'm not sure why it's stopping twice, but it's once for the loop, and then it's doing the high portenta. So this is the basic concept that you can now step through or step over. Step over tends to be a little more useful as it goes through, and that's the basic concept. Okay. Um, nice thing to have is the watch window. And you could type in, I think I have something called my loop. Let's see if it loads up. There we go. And I'm assuming, oh, probably have to run. And I've got all these pictures here. Let's go run it. Uh, my loop. Ah. I'm expecting my loop to get increased or shown and something kind of weird there. Okay, so basically we're here. Uh, you can learn about all the different um, things you've got there, but say you want to now change something in your program. So I don't really have anything I want to change, but I'm going to say hello. So we now compile it, just like always. I always save, and there's a little bit of potential that if you don't save, some things don't quite come through. Um, I think that's, no, it's got to compile a little bit more. And this is the thing I want to show you that uh, Lauterbach has actually fixed up, and it's quite pleasant compared to the original uh, thing that came out about a month ago. So my it's compiled, but I haven't installed it yet. I haven't flashed it yet. If I come back to Trace32 and click Set, I get back there. If I go to Arduino, you see this one, if I actually clicked on it, it would show me, let's see if I can do it. It was 1051. If I go to this one and double click on it, it's 1054. So this is the newer one. If I go there, hit double click to get me into the breathing green mode. And now from Trace32, it is flashing the software and running it. Um, once again, you'd flip to that, you would type go, go loop. Okay, so what I would like to show you is something slightly different, 
and that is an Arduino program, same program, but instead of my loop plus plus, or plus equals one, it's going to go through some of the assembly language to get there. So my loop, we're going to dump it into a register. Uh, that's the address of my loop. We're going to anything with square brackets means now we want the data, putting it into R1. We're now going to add 1 to R1 and put it into R2. And then we're going to store R2 back into RO's, the data. And let's just see what happens. So um, I'm going to, we might as well flash it to the, the thing. This is a good point to show you how to switch between programs. So that's going to flash. It's reasonably quick. Um, so what we're going to have to do is go back to trace 32 and find this. Uh, let's let it flash and do all its flashing stuff. That's breathing. Um, I believe I have no breaks, which means it may... Whoa! Got me a problem. I'm going to pause for a sec. Oh, my bad. I just simply didn't tell it which port it was on. So we flash that. And I'm going to load this new program up and show you a little bit about the registers. And I've I programmed for 40 years. I never use assembly. I use high-level languages. Um, but it is pretty cool to be able to see the assembly language side by side with your code. So, and that's what Trace32 can allow. A little bit of a negative here. Arduino hasn't quite set it up for the inner M4 core. I'm assuming that's coming. Um, it's not quite ready yet. So, I want to go select my new folder. It's not that one. It's this one. I select the folder. That thing pops up. Uh, nothing has been shown in the current directory because it's still in the temporary. I have to double click on it. I don't need to load it. You'll notice this is hold on, held on blue. Uh, not quite sh why there, sure why. So I'm going to open it up and let's reset that. And let's see if this is running. So first of all, let's get out of that. Let's go to the loop. And there we're on our loop. And let's pull this off. There is a whole bunch of stuff with Windows. You can learn that. Uh, I just want to show these registers. So there's ROR1. Now if I hit this, we can go through this. Uh, I don't know if I've got my debug set to go. I just want to see if I've got debug set at true or false. Oh, it's true. So it is actually stopping on that debug. Great. So we step over it. And I'm going to go to mode so we can see this. So we're on assembler load my loop into RO. There's the command. It has the register. And when we go over that one, there. It put the register for my loop into here. Now it's going to throw the data into R1. There's a 1 in my loop at the moment. Then we're going to add 1 to it. There's a 2. This 1 has nothing to do with this. Registers can have data. There's the 2. And then we're going to just go with the program. Here's the, the main loop. My loop was 1 to begin with. We go with the program. My loop is now 2. If we go with the program again, it's 3, 4. If you're looking at the registers, uh, and you jump through that, it should show all that. There's the 4, we jump over it, there's the 5, and then go, and it puts it into the program again. One extra little thing, if you ever want to clear that, it's just right-click, clear it. There is a whole way of dealing with the windows. Um, not really a huge part of this. Anyway, enjoy. Free Trace32 um, license with Lauterbach. If you go to my website and go down to 15 and 16, it has links to the programs. Uh, those programs are just up here. 
There's Trace32, 15, and 16. All kinds of other code to work with the Portenta. And good luck.